Number seven, we have a function. I'm going to change this to y. So I have y equals negative x minus 11 over 4. And our first step is to switch the x and y. So now I have x equals negative x minus 11. Oops, I wrote the x. It needs to be y. y minus 11 over 4. So we want to solve and get y by itself. So y equals. So to do that, I need to get rid of this fraction. And a fraction means divide. That's all a fraction is. We're taking y minus 11 divided by 4. We have this negative out here, though, and I want to get rid of it. Because it could go to the numerator or denominator. I'm going to move it down here with the 4. So when I take the opposite operation, we're going to multiply. I'm going to multiply by negative 4 to get rid of that negative sign that's up here. So these all cancel, and you're left with just the numerator. So I have y minus 11, and that negative is now on the other side with the, with the 4 and the x. So we got rid of the fraction. That was the hard part. Now we add the 11 to the other side. And remember, these are not like terms. They stay separate. Negative 4x plus 11 equals y. Equals the inverse, actually. So negative 4x plus 11.